Recorded at SCB TV Studios in downtown Newhall, Minor Monthly TV starts right now. Hello parents, students, and teachers. I'm Jack. And now I'm Ron Paul. Welcome to the first episode of Minor Monthly TV, Class Reader's monthly school recap and announcement program. This episode, we will be covering school events from both November and December, including some interviews with members of Class Reader's amazing band, a spot feature on a faculty staff member, and a student teacher dodgeball game, so stick with us. Let's jump right into it. The day before we went on fall break, the 8th grade boys held the Turkey Bowl during both lunches. Thank you to Mr. Coda and Mr. Love for coaching both teams. Here's a recap of the Turkey Bowl. Placerita's fantastic 8th grade boys competed in the Turkey Bowl this Thanksgiving. with Mr. Love coaching the gold team and Mr. Koda coaching the red team. Both teams fought hard, but in, in the end, Mr. Love and the gold team came out victorious. Congratulations to the gold team and thank you to Joe and all the other refs who made the game possible. Wow, we have some amazing athletes here at Placerita. Each month, Placerita honors two students from each team who embody a certain positive character trait. This month, we went to the Student of the Month brunch to talk with a few of these outstanding citizens. So many of you are like clones of your kids. Oh, I guess it's the other way around. They are clones of you. So it's really cute to see them and see and, and some you. of the students team adventurers with two very wonderful people, none other than Arlie Eve and Cole Williams. You guys see. And from Team Attitude, we have Owen Russ and Michaela Okunama. Hello. I'm here with Owen Russ, and uh, he just uh, became Student of the Month for Team Attitude, right? Yes. So, uh, Owen, how do you feel about being a Student of the Month for Team Attitude? Well, I just feel really proud of, of being nominated by all my, but my, my three Team Attitude teachers. And, uh, and thank, you, thank you to everyone, everyone who was here to witness the event. All right. Uh, how, was the food good? I'm just asking. Yeah, it was very good. All right. Well, uh, thank you for your time, Owen. Thank you. Congratulations to Placerita's November Student of the Month. Your teachers and peers thank you. Hey, Jack, have you heard about Placerita's outstanding band, orchestra, and choir? Yeah, didn't they have a few concerts this month? Yeah. That's the one. Hey, do you want to watch a recap of those concerts? Yeah, sure. Thank you, Ms. Spula, for leading young musicians to excellence for 32 years.
I uh, set our band concert, it went really well, it sounded really great, and I'm really happy, it was, school was amazing, as you I'm sure you all know, excellent teacher, and we couldn't have done it without her. Welcome you tonight to the winter concert for orchestra and choir. I'm very proud of all of them. They have worked so hard. And I get the honor tonight of actually introducing our music director to you. I would like to introduce to you the magnificent Catherine Spula. Jan Hayes Reynolds, who's also Miss Nature now as well, too, so she's very good to see you right back. She is going to have a few words to say before we get started, so here you go. It was my entire privilege every moment for six years working with Miss Bula when I was the principal of Plus Rita. And I'm like you, I'm a parent. I came straight from work. I'm straight out of the rain, too. So I do appreciate you coming with disheveled hair and wet boots and anything like that just to be here to support our students. Because I've always said, as long as I'm in education, there will be music for our students to play. The outstanding members of the Plus Rita String Orchestra. I think we did alright for the first time. Uh, I feel it wasn't too hard, there were some challenges, but we did. Uh, in the beginning of the year, uh, we weren't much in tune, but start going through to the middle of the year, uh, we started. Wow, our music program is really amazing. You know who else is amazing? Our school staff. Let's get to know one of them right now. My name is Victor Solis. I'm a school counselor here at Plaza Rita. I've been at Plaza Rita for five years now. This is my fifth year, and it's been a tremendously fun experience. I like working with the students, the teachers. I went to junior high at Alto Limo Junior High School in Rancho Cucamonga. It was pretty similar to Plaza Rita, actually. 
I got my bachelor's degree from Cal Poly Pomona, and I have a master's in education from Chapman University, and a master's in school counseling from University of Laverne. What do you like the most about your job? I like forming relationships with the students. I think that they have a lot to share. Um, I like listening. I like uh, hearing their stories. I like hearing how their stories shape who they are. So some of my interests are traveling. I, I absolutely love to try to go to a different country every year and learn something about their culture. And I also love the outdoors. I like to hike. I like to uh, experience nature as much as I can. Even if it's a scenic drive, I'll take a drive or I'll get out on a, on a pathway. Any advice mm -hmm. you have for any plus three students? I would just say kind of start to figure out who you are. Um, make sure that you understand what your passions are. And use school as a place to experiment with um, your personality and all that you're capable of. Um, and, and have fun when you're here because you're only in junior high once. Next month, we will have another feature on a different staff member, so stay tuned. Plaza Rita has several clubs for students to take part in. One of them is Club Hot, short for Help Our Town. Let's go to Aaron Q with more about this fantastic after-school club. This month, we traveled to room 604 to find out more about Club Hot. Club HOT stands for Help Our Town, and we are a community service club where we help out at Placerita and Santa Clarita, as well as the entire state of California. Sometimes we help out other countries after hurricanes or natural disasters, and so we basically are in service to other people in need. So think about something you friendly uh, I love Club HOT because you get to do fun service events to help out our town, which is the name of the club, Help Our Town. And we also get to get hours for National Junior Honor Society in the process. Club Hot is fun, it's exciting, it's open to 7th and 8th grade students here at Plaza Rita, boys and girls. Uh, sometimes we do things here on campus, sometimes we get out in the community, and it's a lot of fun. More information about what Club Hot has done in the past can be found on Ms. Soto's website, sotoscience.weebly.com. For Minor Monthly TV, I'm Aaron Corvedo. Thanks, Aaron. First Lego League is a Lego robotics program for kids 9 to 14 years old. The program is part of the STEM movement, where teams up to 10 kids create, build, and program robots made out of Legos. Each year, FIRST, the parent organization, puts out a theme and a mission mat for the teams to compete on. This year, the theme was Into Orbit. In addition to the robot game, teams must also be judged in three areas of robot design, core values, and research. This year, Plaza Rita had four teams of students that prepared for the competition. All four teams competed in orange at the qualifying tournament. After, one team, Plaza Rita Varsity, was given the opportunity to continue on to compete at the Southern California Championship event at Legoland, California. Hi, we're uh, Plus Rita Varsity, and we're from Santa Clarita. Plus Rita Varsity. The team did very well and was awarded with one of the highest honors at the event, Runner Up Champions Award. This award is given to the team that shows excellence in all four areas of the event. Congratulations to everybody from Plaza Rita who participated, and thank you to Mr. Cass and Mrs. Reed for making it all happen. Come join the Plaza Rita Spring Robotics. On December 14th, we held our annual Placerita Winter Formal, organized by our very own ASB. 
It featured hot chocolate, a Habit burger truck, and a photo booth, all included in the price of admission. Everybody who went had a blast. <laughs> During the entire month of November, ASB organized Placerita's annual dodgeball tournament. The tournament started with 32 teams and steadily the bracket narrowed down to two teams in the finale. The winner of the tournament went on to play against a team of our own teachers. Here now is a recap video of the tournament. <laughs> Thanks to all the teachers and administrators who played in that game. And thank you to ASB for making the tournament possible. Every day at Placerita is a holiday, including when we go on break. Our last day of this sem uh, semester is Thursday, December 20th. And we will return to school on Monday, January 14th. Have a wonderful winter break, families. <laughs>